Hello guys and girls, my name's Glenn um, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up Ableton Live with my DMX2. I've had a few people ask me, um, I've been meaning to get round to this video for a long long time and finally I've managed to set something up that I can uh, then show you how I did my setup. So um, I'll begin from where I think would be the start and that the first thing you need to do things that you have to have set up in order for it to work if you go to the uh, the spotlight the search up here um, and you put in audio MIDI and you highlight and click the audio MIDI setup if, if this window doesn't come up it's because you're in the the other window there it comes up with two windows there's the audio window which it, it, this might be uh, missing if from the background the, the MIDI one but if it is missing if it comes up with just that like that you go to the window here and show MIDI window uh, and in the show MIDI window this is the important bit here the, the IAC driver and if I click on that or double click on it this is the box and yours needs to look like this if you haven't got a port open here you need to create one by pressing the plus button the device is online the IAC driver device name is irrelevant um, and then the connectors for IAC bus 1, MIDI 1 and MIDI 1 they're actually greyed out you can't do anything with those anyway so this is what yours should look like and if it doesn't then you need to get it to this stage now once you've done that if we go out of that now we can quit the, uh, the setup um, and in live, if we click on the live preferences, so you, you click on the live at the top there, go to preferences, and in this here, we're, we're again we're, we're on the MIDI sync uh, uh, in the selection on the left hand side, and here you're looking for your IAC driver in and your IAC driver out. Now if they're not on, I like that then switch them on on both you probably don't need both but it's just a, a good idea just to switch them both on once you've done that I'm just going to delete this track so we can start from I, I've just dropped a track into here an audio track so we can work with something um, and we want to create a MIDI track so the way we do that is we right click insert MIDI track and then we want to double click into one of the, uh, the well the square that correspond in line with the um, the audio track there so if you double click there um, it'll open up a clip as you can see at the bottom here um, and this is where we're going to be putting the information in that will actually control the lights or, or the scenes on uh, my DMX now I'm assuming that you know how to set up scenes in my DMX um, if you don't there's plenty of good videos online that will show you how to do that um, if you can't find a good one leave a comment um, asking me to go through the process and I'll do another video but these are all my scenes that I've made in the past uh, I'll just click on a few so you can see what I mean uh, blue chase so there's my blue chase uh, green chase, blue chase very fast. I've recently added in the two um, elites on the left, so they're not they're not work left and right. They're not working as well as they should at the moment because I haven't programmed them up enough yet. But they they're just adding a bit more light. So these are the various lights and the scenes. Um, so once you've made all your different scenes and you've, you've come up with different ideas which is uh, as I've done there what we want now is for this here to be able to talk to this so that we can choose different scenes for different parts of the songs and the way we do that is this clip that I've provided here um, if we look at the uh, if because the uh, screen's got so much information, I have to open these up separately. So, bear with me. Now, what we what we need to do on here 
we can ignore the MIDI in for the time being because unless you've got a MIDI keyboard or some sort of input device you don't need this bit you can do it all via the the uh, screen here but what we need to do is we need to set the MIDI to to the IAC driver and we leave it on channel 1 so we need to set that and that to channel 1 and what that's basically doing is it's using the IAC driver as a sort of a, a, a middleman to be able to talk to the two programs so th we can now send information via this MIDI channel to here we're not quite there yet but we're getting there now the next thing is that the keyboard here is where we use the different keys to control the different scenes so we allocate a key from here to a scene from here and the way we do that is uh, I've already got scenes um, um, programmed in but what I'll do is I'll just I'll just get rid of a few and then we can then add them back in so um, I'll just move along here a little bit because they're all pretty much the same so if we go to somewhere like here um, and we'll do let's see what that one is so as you can see from that that's uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the bottom here to the minus one to zero again these you can you, you can choose any one of these for any one of these obviously you only want to do one to one so you need to make a note of what you've used because that's the only downside to my DMX it doesn't tell you what um, MIDI note number you've used to uh, um, each track it just tells you that there's one allocated but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the one I have so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to clear the MIDI command for this uh, particular scene so now it's saying learn the MIDI command so if I click on that now and you see there it's saying waiting for command and I come down to here and I click one of the keys now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use these bottom ones but I could click any one of these as long as it's not been allocated before but I'm gonna assume this one isn't so I'm gonna click this one here and if I go to this now you'll see that it still says waiting for command and now what you need to do is the little set of headphones at the top here has to be in on mode so it turns to blue when we select it and that basically then makes this keyboard live so we can actually program these here so again if I click on it it's still waiting for the command because it's, so far it hasn't received one but this time now if I click the C this time and I go back to this command right click Ah, hasn't done it. <laughs> there we go. I, I double clicked it. And now, if I go onto that, um, it's now said it's learned a command because it's asking me if I want to clear it. So it's learned that note there, as now corresponds to that note there. I'll do a couple more. So we'll we'll go from that one. We'll we'll do the um, let's do something different so we know it's changed. There you go. That's a nice nice uh, change there. So I'll right click on it and clear it. You don't need to do this bit because this is because I've already set it up previously. But um, so I'll learn right click, learn MIDI control, which is the left click. It's waiting for the command. I'm going to choose the next note up, the black note. And in fact, I won't, I won't, I'll, in fact, I'll leave the I'll leave the notes in between now. I'll just click, use the white notes only. So we've used C minus one. I'm going to click double click this one. So now on this one. I've got the C minus one, and on this one, I've got the D minus one, or, or the next note up. If you don't uh, know your MIDI keys, let's choose uh, one more. Find something different again. Something that uh, pops out. There you go. That's quite a good one. So right click, learn MIDI command and I'm going to choose the third one there so now I've allocated these three notes to the three on here so now watch what happens when I click on the C here watch what happens on the My DMX. it changes from the whatever it was on before to that one if I press the next one it jumps up to the next scene and if I press it again on the third one that we allocated it jumps to that one so now we've got the um, 
Ableton and the MyDMX talking to each other. All you need to do now is set your song out um, and provide dots along the timeline here that correspond to where you want the, the notes to change. So if we take um, our first note, and again, I'm using the mouse, I'm going to double click here and, and uh, it'll input a note for me. So I'll double click on there and it's now put that note in on the first beat of the bar um, and I've got that particular scene running on that first beat. So if I want to go to four bar, I need to extend this uh, a bit longer now because it only does a small bar length. So we'll extend it a little bit further. If we come back to the beginning here now. So what this corresponds to above here is the uh, the beats of the bar. So if I just start the song up now, this is, um, I'll just start it playing. <coughs> See the line moves along. This is the ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls. So what we need to do now is basically run along with the beats and change the notes where we want them to change. So if I click the next note on the next bar there, that's the D that we chose. And I'll then do the next one on the next bar there. Now when I play the song, those three selections I made will now play in time with the music. Um, and that really is basically it. If we... If we uh, wanted to choose some more if I if I go along here at the top now because I say I've, I've allocated quite a few myself so if I click on these you can see the various ones changing you won't see them on here because they're off the screen somewhere there's so many on, on show but there, there's that one there if I click somewhere near to that um, ones I've allocated there's one up there I've allocated that's off the screen there again And that's uh, that's basically it. So all you then do is you allocate the notes where you want them to play or, or the scenes, and you then build your song up um, across the timeline there, and you build your song. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful. Um, if there's anything I missed out, then please let me know and I'll see if I can add it in or um, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.